De Sarde, what can I do for you? Captain Vasco, I'm glad to see you again. Did you profit from your time on land? I did, Admiral. That's why I've come to see you. You want me to entrust you with a loyalty mission? Indeed. Very well. A short time ago, we lost one of our ships near the island. The reputation of the Norts suffered from it. I have heard about it. An incomprehensible sinking which fueled numerous rumors. We cannot let the land dwellers think we are losing the sea. So I need someone to investigate and restore our reputation. At your orders, Admiral, and with pleasure. The shipwreck is stranded on the shore, southwest of the island, not far from when Xavier. Thank you, Admiral. I'm counting on you, Captain Vasco. Spells!
Look, there it is. I didn't think your ships could break like this. The corpses are chained up. These beasts were captive. Could they have died during the sinking? I don't think so. They don't seem to have drowned. Something bigger slaughtered them, with no effort at all. It looks like an enormous cage. But look, it's been broken. Is this ringing any bells for anyone else? The hull was torn apart. And given the way that the wood is broken, it came from the inside. Damn it. What happened here? There are scratch marks almost everywhere on the wood. But they do not look like the marks a reef would make. This ship was apparently carrying creatures from the island. The largest one managed to escape and made a hole in the hull as it tried to run away. Just like in Serene. The sailors didn't stand a chance. The Admiral will not be satisfied with our deductions. She will want concrete proof. Let's keep searching.
All the clues seem to corroborate the captain's journal. This is the same thing that happened at the harbor in Serene. The Guardian who was locked up on the boat freed itself and ripped apart the hull of the boat to get out. Yes. And my brothers had no means of saving their lives or the ship, alas. Let's go back and explain this to the Admiral. The Captain's Journal will serve as proof. Desarde, what can I do for you? Regarding the mission you entrusted Captain Vasco with. We have come to give our conclusions. I'm listening. We examined the shipwreck and the surrounding area. A creature they carried on board managed to set itself free. An enormous beast. It made a hole in the hull and caused the sinking. We could only find dead bodies. Alas, I was expecting it. May the sea be their shroud. We shall not forget them. Did you find anything? The captain's journal tells the tale of the ship from their departure to the sinking. Thank you, Vasco. It seems that the potions of the Alliance failed us once more. And rest assured, we will never transport another one of those creatures. They are too dangerous for our ships. Our honor is safe, thanks to you. You have proven your loyalty and you have regained my trust. What you have achieved for us all deserves to be a part of your history, Vasco. I will send someone to tell the Tattooist. He'll be waiting for you. I have come to receive my tattoo. The Admiral should have informed you. Indeed, Captain. Congratulations. Well, take a seat. You know the drill. What do you think about it? I feel more naught than ever. Great. Congratulations, Vasco. Glad to see you, my friend. Can I do anything for you? I'm asleep.
Have you considered my proposition? Very well. Let's go and discover what the governor would rather keep hidden from the world. Excellent. How would you like to go about this? We must search her apartments in St. Matthias. They'll be guarded, of course. But if we are discreet, that shouldn't be a problem. This is taking quite a risk. The congregation's reputation could suffer if we're caught. And my cousin's position would be weakened. I know. But keep in mind that I know the palace extremely well. And if we want to be sure to pass without being noticed, we need only dress ourselves up as servants. That would improve our chances. Well, let's do it. Ah, Your Excellency. The Enlightened must have sent you. I would like to ask a favor of you. I'm listening. As you may be aware, we suspected this island might be the one St. Lucius wrote about. Did you? We did, but let me explain. This island was where St. Matthias lived at the end of his life, and where he founded a perfect community. Some time ago, we created a village which we called Eden, following his example. We chose this place as it seemed to be the closest to the one described in the Holy Scriptures. It is a home to a community of converted islanders, accompanied and guided in their budding faith by our theologians. As you can imagine, it is of the utmost importance to us, all the more so because we discovered some tablets there which were engraved by our founder. An extraordinary discovery that confirms your suspicions. I see you understand. Alas, these tablets were stolen, probably by the islanders who still reject our influence. I know that you are generally well accepted by the natives. That is why I was hoping that you could help us to retrieve what belongs to us. I suppose I could go to Eden and try and retrieve them. Marvelous. The leader of the community, Father Eustinius, will be able to answer your questions. May the Enlightened assist you in this holy quest, Your Excellency.
May the enlightened always keep you in. If you will excuse me, I am due, sir. This area of the palace is forbidden to visitors by order of the Mother Cardinal. We did not know. Please excuse us. The basements are for servants only. Very well. We'll go back up. Welcome to the best. Do you like it here in San Mateo? It is impossible. Uh Goodbye. May the enlightened always keep you in his divine This is a very unique place. The smell of stupor and vice reign as its masters. You're not wrong. We should search this place. Locked. This document is highly important. By reading it carefully, you could learn a lot. The Mother Cardinal apparently borrows large amounts of money from a moneylender. Actually, enormous sums. What's more, she does so quite regularly. How does she manage to give it all back? Hmm. And the name Candy Cane crops up several times. Quite suspicious, don't you think? This sweet person must be doing her huge favors to get these sums. Hmm. Let's rummage around some more. We may find something else. Oh, for goodness sake! This room reeks of alcohol. 
And not just any old alcohol, if my nose does not deceive me. Cornelia always had great taste when it came to drinking. that someone forgot their earring. Oh, here is an object of more than questionable taste. A woman from a good family would never wear it. It's junk. The kind of thing a courtesan would wear. I didn't know you were an expert on the subject, Father. The subject of jewelry? No, of courtesans. We are here at the heart of human depravity. Outrageous luxury, excessively priced alcohol obvious debauchery. Surely this is enough to incriminate the Mother Cardinal. No, my child. These things are common in certain circles, even in Teleme, unfortunately. Cornelia may well have organized these things for others. These parties might be of use in gaining some political favor. We must find out who is involved and learn more. The earring that we found may help us with that. We could ask at the brothel if it belongs to a prostitute. We should also follow the trail left by this document, my child. The moneylender may give us information about the famous candy cane. We should also question the manager of the tavern while passing through. He will surely have some information to give us. Or to sell us. Can I help you? Yes, actually. I have a small favor to ask. You don't look like you need money from me. I know that you know the Mother Cardinal. She borrowed money from you on several occasions. I want to know why. Where did you find that out? Hmm? Who told you? I want to know why she borrows money from you. Lending money is my job. It's not illegal. And, and I don't have to give you an answer. I imagine that the name Candy Cane rings a bell. Obviously. All of San Matthias knows that name. Can you tell me about him? I don't know him personally. We've never been introduced. But rumor has it that he often hangs out in the basement at the Coin Tavern. You ask far too many questions. My guys will make you regret sticking your nose in other people's business. Leave me be and do not come back. Why is the Cardinal borrowing money from you and how does she pay you back so quickly? I have no idea. And to be honest, I don't care in the slightest. All I can do is assure you that she's not helping herself to the city funds, if that's what you're thinking. How could you possibly know that? <laughs> because San Mateus is rich, but not that rich. With a Cardinal, we're talking about... Whew, 
astronomical amounts. And what's Candy Cane's role in all of this? I don't know. I really have no dealings with him. We have never met, and I have no desire to. He and the Cardinal have a connection, but I... I just lend money. I have nothing to do with them. My advice to you is don't get involved. Those two are dangerous. I would advise you to keep all of this to yourself. <laughs> I, I don't want any trouble. I will be as silent as a stone. May the Enlightened bless you. Can I get you anything? I'm here for something else. Can I ask you a couple of questions? If you wish. What would you like to know? You sometimes deliver goods to your big clients. Isn't that right? Of course. The rich don't like to get drunk among mere mortals. And have you ever supplied anyone from the palace? Yes, that has happened. It suits them. And who places these orders? Well, a steward, of course. Don't you know how things work? A woman? Dressed in a long green cloak? No, the steward is more discreet. On the other hand, the person in the big green coat... The steward speaks to her sometimes. They know each other or work together. What can you tell me about a certain candy cane? Candy cane? Everyone speaks about him, or has heard of him, but no one really knows him. And what do they say about him? Here, nothing. You need to go downstairs for that sort of thing. To the games room and the brothel? Yes, that's more the kind of place where they'd talk about him. Do you think that the Mother Cardinal may have ever been here? <laughs> Are you drunk or something? I have to go. I will leave you to your work. Good day. Welcome. You here to wager? To fight? Has the Mother Cardinal ever come here to place bets? <laughs> the Mother Cardinal? And why not Saint Matthias himself while you're at it? I imagine that the name Candy Cane rings a bell. 
Obviously, even though I would prefer it wasn't the case, he's a sort of organizer. He captures most of the beasts who fight in the arena. How is that a problem? Apparently, he's fixed a few fights. These kind of rumors aren't good for my business. If that's the case, why don't you stop him? He has friends, protectors. Without solid evidence, no one will lift a finger. And the only ones who wanted to speak of his cartel have disappeared. Do you know where I could find him? He often hangs out around the port at night, but I strongly advise you to stay away from the guy. I know how to look after myself. Thanks for the information. What is this arena? It's a place of great pomp and entertainment, where all manner of fights take place. Men, women, savage beasts, island monsters. People are coming from everywhere on the island to participate, or to bet. On what would we be betting? On the fights in the arena. You never heard of them. Quite a few come here and bet fortunes. And do they win? A few do. Others have less luck. But they do get the thrill either way, you see. And that's all that counts. I must be going. Next time, then. A feast for the eyes, ladies and gentlemen. And it's free. Come and see me as soon as you have made your choice. You won't be disappointed. Of that, I can assure you. Come on. So, have you found what you were looking for? Let's just say that I'm gathering information. My treasures are worth their price. I promise you that you will get your money's worth. For you, I'm sure we can make a special arrangement. Father, do you want to explain to this man why we are here? Of course. We are not here for your services, but to lead an investigation. Several clients of yours have made a complaint. Precious objects disappearing after your employees' visits. People in very high places are concerned, which explains why we've been asked to take care of it. This cannot be. I... Well, listen. Come in, but please be discreet. Thank you for your cooperation. Hi. Well, here's someone new. What can I do for you, pretty face? I wanted to know who this earring belongs to. Oh, this really isn't my day. Show me, pretty face. Ah. Oh. Given the way it shines, it must be a piece of junk. It probably belongs to one of the girls. It's really their style. Well, if that's all that you're here for, I'd rather get back to the grind. Look! A new face. Oh, but wouldn't that be... Hello, Father. I... Uh, oh, hello. Hmm. We would like to know if you know who this earring belongs to. Is it maybe yours? Absolutely not. I am careful not to leave my belongings with clients, and I have no desire to answer your questions. That doesn't fall within my services. Very well. Goodbye. There are too many of you for me alone, my little lambs. Sorry, madam. But we're here to ask other favors of you. This question might seem a little surprising, but do you know who this earring might belong to? Why? It's mine. I, I lost it when... How did you get hold of it? Are you sure you want to broach that subject here? You're right. Come with me. Well, what do you want? Why are you giving me back my earring? You know where we found it, don't you? Obviously. I realized as soon as I got back that I'd lost it. I imagine your pimp does not know that you take part in these parties. He doesn't dabble in this at all? No. Do not say anything to him, I beg you. He's on my case enough as it is. Then I suggest you answer my questions. <sighs> what would you like to know? 
Could you tell us who you saw at the parties? Rich people, or better. They seemed very rich and important to me. But I don't know them. Do you know who organizes these parties? Not really, no. A steward pays me when I go, but I don't see anyone else, apart from the clients. You can't even give me a single name? No. The only person who sometimes speaks to this steward is a woman who is always wearing a green coat. She never takes part in the festivities, but the steward rushes over whenever she arrives. Do you think that an important person from Teleme could have partaken in these soirees? You're thinking of Mother Cardinal, aren't you? You lot really think we are a bunch of degenerates. You're hardly a shining example of virtue, my child. Just answer our questions. Sorry, Father, I don't know the Mother Cardinal, but I strongly doubt she dabbles in that. You don't think you could recognize her and you don't think you've crossed paths. What a testimony. Admit it, you must know more than you're letting on. It's virtually impossible not to recognize someone while being so close to these influential people, wouldn't you agree? Well, I was able to recognize someone, once. Even with a mask on, I'm good at recognizing my clients. Please continue. I'm all ears. I don't want to implicate anyone, but he is of no real importance, and you've probably never even heard of him. It's the local moneylender. I know very well who you're referring to, my dear. But I didn't mention anything to you, huh? This stays between us. I don't even remember the subject of this conversation anymore. This woman in the green coat, could you tell me about her? She always hides her face and never joins us. Then she disappears into a little office and locks the door. I see. She is quite important, then. Do you know someone who goes by the name of Candy Cane? Everyone does. He is a powerful person, so his name makes the rounds. Have you ever spotted him at these pleasure parties? In all honesty, I wouldn't even be able to recognize him. I've heard his name before, but that's all. Thank you for your help. Be sure not to mention this to anyone. I'd lose my clients if they suspected me of speaking about them, you know. I'm looking for a woman who comes here. She always wears a long green coat. Yes, I have seen this coat before, but I have no idea who is beneath it, if that's what you're asking. All I know is that I've seen her speaking to a regular, a steward of the palace who comes to place big orders. Always prime choice. I have to go. I will leave you to your work. Good day. Welcome. I'm looking for someone. A woman wearing a big green coat. Yeah, I know who you mean. She's a good client. She comes in, especially for the big fights, and she has prime information. Do you know where I can find her? No, I don't even know her name. She wouldn't happen to be coming back to collect some winnings, would she? No, and I can't really tell you when she'll show up next. I must be going. Next time, then. So, how do you see things, my child? I think that the usurer is lending money to the Cardinal, and very significant sums at that. With this money, she bets on the arena fights while hiding in a big green coat. And she also gives large amounts to a certain candy cane, known for fixing fights. Not only does our dear Cornelia love betting games, but she also wouldn't think twice about cheating to win. Maybe he's just giving her advice. How can we prove anything? We can always try asking him. 
Who knows? Perhaps he will give us an answer. Let's come back later. Good evening. Are you the one they call Candy Cane? Who are you? De Sade, legate of the merchant congregation. A legate, no less. I imagine in these cases, the one accompanying you is the famous Petrus. You seem to be very well informed. Therefore, you might be able to answer my question. What do you know about a woman in a green coat? Why would I tell you? We know that you have business with this woman. And that she is actually the Mother Cardinal. How did you... You would be better off forgetting that. That's not exactly the response I'd imagined. But nevertheless, seems rather eloquent. I told you to forget about it. Or you'll soon run into trouble. Legate or no Legate. Come on, it was just an innocent little conversation. Goodbye, Mr. Kane. Bye. And Godspeed. We have enough information. Really? Is the fact that she bets on fights that are potentially fixed enough for you? It's already a huge scandal. Let me just think about it for a little while. I will find a way of putting this information to good use. I have faith in you, Father.
am like to protect me in this battle. Found the Dara Grimaderum Dam. Please, I come because of a message that was sent to me. Wait! This is the Onol Menawi of the Lugay the Blau. The one we wanted to talk to. By the Enlightened, look at this body. These people have killed an Inquisitor, and they probably made us come here so that we too meet the same fate. I doubt it. They would have attacked us immediately. Let's see what they have to say to us. I came following the instructions you had left the secretary of our embassy, but I wasn't expecting to find you near the corpse of a member of the Ordo Luminous. And we didn't think that the Onol Menawi we were told about would come with another son. Stop. This one is different. And we need their help. We were told that there was a man different from the other Reinaixe amongst the Lugail Blau. Someone who sometimes helped our people. This is why we talked to the man in the large house. But we don't really know who you are. My name is the Sarde. I'm the legate of the congregation. It means that I am in charge of the diplomacy with the other nations. And yes, I have helped your people a few times. I think he's the one who came to our village to interrogate our mal about our rituals. We can't trust him. Before speaking of trust, maybe you should tell me why you made me come here. Two nights ago, we attacked a group of Red Sons who were taking away some of our people. Many of them fled. But we captured this man, and we made him talk. We wanted to know where they took our brothers. And he talked about a secret camp. Why would the Inquisition take natives to a secret camp? To confuse their minds. They... Torture them until they renounced the truth and praised the sun. This red sun was mocking us. He said they would burn us like the others. He had killed some of my brothers. So I killed him. I don't have a lot of affection for the Ordo Luminous. But I doubt this man deserved such a fate. And did our people deserve to be burned? No, of course not. That's not what I meant. If what you say is true, then indeed, we cannot let the Inquisitors continue. But because you killed him, we can only take your word for it. Maybe not. The Red Sun had a key on him. And also some words sealed in bark. We do not know how to set them free. But the Renaigse do, don't they? The letter ordered this man to join the escort party of a group of natives. This partly confirms what you told me. Do the words say where the camp is located? No, but the address of the Inquisitor is written. 
What is an address? This is how we refer to the place we live in. I suppose the key you found is the key to his door. So you can go to his house and look for more words? I suppose so. You must do it. Or the suns will keep burning our people. What's your opinion, Petrus? This warrior isn't wrong. Even though I disapprove of her methods. If we let the Ordo Luminous continue to do this, we will have the same problems with the natives as the Alliance. Very well. I will go visit this man's home. I will come back to you if I learn anything more. Hurry. Our brothers may be dying in the meantime.